stay off your uh, brow. You need that detail. Okay. So we pretty much have her, at least her face done. You know, if you want to go go down here and um, make some changes, you can do that as well. Um, and I guess we can go ahead and cover that since we're, we've already got our hands under the hood, so to speak. A little small. Okay. Smooth out the neckline a little bit. This kind of line here, that's actually a wrinkle. You can go to all over that. We should actually take that out uh, by another means, but I'm not going to worry about that so much right now. Now this isn't a straight up line. This is more of a curvature. It's, it's her neckline, her neck bone. Um, so since it's not a hardcore line, uh, should be able to go with that with no problems. Maybe I should have used a bigger eraser. Anyway, but you can see what kind of effect this has um, on your uh, your painting, or what will be your painting. Always helps to take care of some of these things before you get into a uh, painter. And, uh, you know, once you start painting and then you notice something, uh, that sucks. I don't know if you've experienced before like I have, but uh, yeah, that sucks. I always have to go back because I hate letting things just lie. Problems are sitting there. So we're doing her arm. It's hard to tell where the line is right here. That's okay. I think we'll get by. Stay off that little piece of hair there, if possible. And then kind of fill it in. And actually, I'm using a mouse to do this. I really don't advise that because I'm really just being lazy. My stylus is like three feet away from me, but <laughs> yeah. But a, uh, when you're doing something like this, uh, a mouse is, is okay. It's all right. You're not really having to deal with pressure, you know, when it comes to this technique at all. So, there she is. Okay. Now what we are going to do is to try to take out this teeny tiny little pesky little mole that's getting on my nerves and we will mess with a piece of her hair that it's also getting on my nerves and I really don't want in the finished painting so let's go to the, um, the healing brush and you want to select the size that is uh, conducive to to the point that you're trying to fix. So you want to make this kind of small. Let's make it 20. Okay, and that's what we want to fix right there. So we hit the Alt key, and you, what you want to do is try to find a uh, the surrounding area. Notice the colors, um, and you want about that color. Now, the farther right you go, the lighter the gradient goes. The farther left you go the darker it gets so it's a pretty safe bet that within this line here up above and below it's probably a pretty safe place to try and grab a color so you press your alt click one time and click hmm. okay let's go to this let's not even look at this anymore. okay it's locked Unlock it. Same procedure. Alt. Click. 
and bam, gone. That easy. Um, okay. Let's lock that back up. Turn this one back on. There we go. She is mole free. Um, okay, now we want to work on this layer. I want to, uh, this healing brush um, can have more uses than just skin, um, obviously. So what we want to do, we want to take this area, we want to get this area right here. Incidentally, this is the piece of hair that I want out of there. So I'm not sure how easy it's going to be. I haven't uh, done this before, but I'm assuming it's going to work. Gotta be careful. You start getting art artifacts the farther you move away. Okay. Now let's grab a piece from here. We can get one more. Okay, that's that's okay. That's decent. Okay, it's not going to matter, but so much in the end. But you see how the healing brush heals more than just skin. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I guess we can consider that done. That, that piece can be uh, gone over in painter. Um, smoothed out. Next, we're going to do the eyes. We want, if you notice, these eyes are pretty dark. So I'd like to try to bring those out. Um, and we're going to do that by clicking on the polygonal lasso tool. Can't they just call it the friggin' lasso tool? Um, Okay, and I think we want to be in a little bit closer. This, yeah, that's what we want. 